Hello, hello, hello. Hello guys, welcome back to another stream. So everyone, welcome back to another stream. Uh, <coughs> today we are going to create this uh, small cathedral uh, in Unreal Engine and Redis Max 5. So this concept was made by uh, Olga. Okay, you can find his uh profile in our station so he made this concept so i thought uh, we can create this in unreal engine so everyone again welcome back to the stream don't forget to like share and subscribe see sir welcome to the stream So I'm gonna create the walls and the pillars okay then we will unwrap the UV then export everything to Unreal Engine and we will render it there so let's do this Uh, so I'm gonna start with this wall okay uh, we'll use a plane object I'm going to the front view then we'll start from here to here and change the material okay <clears throat> then i'm gonna remove all these uh, segments from this plane and convert to a table poly <clears throat> i'm gonna uh, increase the height a little bit okay maybe this width Okay, this one's okay. I'm gonna save this one, then we will add on segment around here, here somewhere, maybe here. I think we need to add one more one more segment right here and we should move this little up okay okay now I'm gonna create sorry insert this face So we can create a window. Okay. And reduce the size from the sides. Maybe as much. Then we will extrude this inside okay like this maybe i'm gonna save it copy now we need to chamfer these two edges <coughs> okay just increase the amount i'm going to sing welcome to the stream 
thanks for joining okay with few more segments okay maybe six now we need to delete few segments from here control and backspace okay to delete these segments and we will mess this up so go back Maybe you should remove this one. Okay. Yes, build all these and you put to go. Okay, nice. Okay, we don't need this face, I can just delete it. And we'll have this wall with this window. Yes. okay now i think we need to extrude a little bit to the top yes hold on shift and drag to the top a little bit so we'll have this window and we need to extrude this one i mean this face Like this, okay. Now we need to create some <coughs> steel thing. I mean, authorities. Okay, I'm going to create this line uh, with this plane and start it from here to here then we will select this vertex and use this fillet and enable this in render and viewport and change it to rectangular and of course we need to increase these uh, segments for that we have this interpolation here this increase the size i mean count and increase the width a little bit Rupam Merkan Sri Sri Hello The Parvadi Okay then Decrease the length Maybe Okay Now we will move it to here Now I am going to Add this symmetry modifier in y direction no x direction then flip it 
So we'll have this. So we will have this shape, okay. I think we need to copy this then paste it again here. And Rupam is coming here. Okay. Parameters are not matching how I have saved the distributions is still not matching with the model what what's in this line here Rupam I don't understand bro parameters are not matching how I Uh, Rupam, I don't understand what you're seeing. What parameters? Maybe you mean this one? Total. Okay, I think we need to increase the count here. Okay. We need to copy this one more time and paste it here. Okay, so, uh, something like this, a uh, random shape, doesn't matter, I think. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna collapse everything and convert it to poly again. We need to move this down a little bit, right? Okay, on okay. And I'm gonna create a couple of random shapes like i'm gonna use this circle on oh, okay wait let's check okay i'm gonna use this rectangle then we will rotate I think this is not the correct shape so can you show me the parameters for unit setting okay uh, it's in somewhere here right yes unit setup see I'm using this uh, this one once unit is equal to one centimeter bro okay this will show you one more time you open your setup and system setup on unit one centimeter okay we will create a custom shape Okay. Then enable the same report again. Maybe you should change the settings no no need to just change the material 
and move this here okay i think we need to change this width okay and i think we can okay we don't need to create this in real play no no actually no we'll just duplicate this shape a couple of times okay see it's not actually I mean these two sides we need to align them correctly okay I'm gonna create a plane here then we'll move this a little bit okay now it will be fine uh you are on a roll thanks for all great videos Ubuntu, can the stream can you show this tutorial on the engine yes bro that's the plan okay and now i'm gonna duplicate these okay so that's it for the window i'm gonna set a uh, attach all these together uh convert to table poly first then attach it so we'll have this window now i'm gonna create a pillar like we saw in the picture I mean the reference okay cylinder okay fine I'm gonna create a cylinder right here okay fine and change the material not these on the link i shared with you what link bro bro you can share link in live chat bro it will delete it automatically <coughs> okay we need the exact same height right So I'm going to place it here, uh, here, and change or increase the sides to 22 or something, then convert to editable poly and move this to the top to match to this plane, sorry, the wall. Okay. Now we need to add a couple of segments. On here, I think. Okay, fine. And we will extrude this face. Something like this and I'm going to move this down. Okay. 
okay this uh, might be not exactly like the picture gonna change a little bit okay Ding. Okay, so this pillar here. Okay, for this top side, I think we need to create an arch or something. Great. Okay, I'm going to the front view. Uh, then we will for arch, right? Then we can create a box. I'm gonna create a box, okay? Like this, maybe. and move it here and you will apply this material and need to increase the weight hold on we need to increase the height then convert to editable poly Okay, then we will add on segment in this center and we will move it to the top like this. I don't know this is gonna work. Okay, now we will try to same for this one. a few segments or we can create a sorry use a spline for this uh, arch thing okay it's your choice anyway i'm gonna use this one Okay. Now I'm going to select this face, I extrude to the side a little bit and select the whole mesh. We need to clear these smoothing groups and add a new one. Uh, maybe we should build these vertex here. See. This one. Okay, just select everything and come here. We'll use this weld. Okay. Now we need to insert this uh, side, I mean this face, okay. Make sure you don't select any other sides. Then we will insert it. <coughs> like this. and extrude it to inside a little bit uh, 
I'm gonna go with this edge and some. Then we will connect to this vertex so we don't have this black thing or the mesh. Okay, uh, just connect one of these vertex. Now I'm going to add a symmetry modifier. Okay. Think C direction. Okay. So we'll collapse everything. Here we need to cover this uh, join with something. I'm going to add one shift loop right here and select all this and extrude it. Okay. Hold on, we need to extrude it first a little bit. Then we will add one more segment in here and extrude it from more time. Uh, Justin, welcome to the stream. You can see the reference photo. Okay, this one more. See. What if I scale this? Okay, and this one would be nice. It's fine, right? Here we don't need this uh, to segment. Just convert the selection to edges. Uh, delete them. Okay. Now we can just move this down. here I think maybe you should increase the width a little bit Okay, now I'm going to add a symmetry modifier for this mesh. Okay, then hold on In the x direction, I think, then rotate it. Okay, wait. Maybe we should need to flip the sun and rotate it. The height is increased. Sorry, the length is a little bit high, right? Okay. I'm gonna copy this one more time and paste it here. And rotate it. Okay. 
hold on something happened we need to delete hold then maybe we need to reset this x form okay the height I'm going to rotate this with a new symmetry modifier. Uh, X maybe. Now the length should be fine. Yes. Okay, just place it here. Okay, and maybe we should move this little bit here so we can adjust the gap. Okay, now I'm going to copy this symmetry, then paste it one more time. And if I move this, <clears throat> okay. We need to make a backup. I'm going to keep it here and copy and hide it. Height selection. Okay, we have this shape. Now I'm going to collapse everything and we will remove all these inside items like all these edges. Okay, I'm going to use this. Sorry, select all these faces. Okay, then convert the selection to edge and control and backspace. Or we can just delete the face. Okay, so we'll have the shape. Now I'm gonna use this border thing, and if I cap this hole, it will be like this. Nice, right? Control C. I'm gonna delete this one. And we will try this border one more time. Or I'm gonna bridge these two edges first. Okay, hold on, wait, wait. I will just close all this then we will connect all this vertex okay control us uh, now we need to cut through these edges I'm gonna select one of this vertex maybe this one and cut and you connect to this one
this is the correct line right so i'm gonna delete these two okay maybe we should cut few more lines We clear all these smoothing loops, it won't work. It will work, right? Okay, we can just move all this text down. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna connect all these corner vertex just to check. No should be fine. Okay, and I think it's fine now. Can this hold on? We'll just move or move four four vertex. I mean these four vertex down like this. Maybe we should move this up. Okay, only for this shape. Maybe we should move this down. But okay, I am going to back. Okay, don't need to do that. We'll just keep it like this. And I'm gonna select all these faces. Then clear all auto smooth. Maybe insert a little bit. Go the selection, we can just uh use this make planner thing okay okay still i don't like the shape anyway it's fine i think And if I select all these faces, then clear all, auto smooth. But if I insert this one, We don't need to insert them. OK. 
okay guys let's create some random shape okay doesn't matter okay i'm gonna save it then we need to create something over here um, Uh, plan B, welcome to the stream. Where does welcome to the stream? You need to increase the height. This one, okay. I'm gonna just move this plane. Okay, it should be fine, right? Okay, just move this, this much. And maybe we should move this a little bit. To the sides but if I duplicate this pillar no 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 okay it is duplicate on here okay these are the main shapes we are going to export to one dimension this one and here we can close this gap okay delete this one first delete it delete Now we can close this top side. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, we need to build all this first. Okay, I'm going to select all these vertex. Then use this build. Now it should be fine. We can just close the S. Yes. Okay. I don't like this shape, guys. Wait. I'm gonna remove this. Okay. And we will try to Okay, hold on, I'm gonna build this to here. Is it try? Okay, now it looks better, right? I think so, I don't know. Okay, it's fine, I think. Okay, Tom, I can see my, sorry, four hole, I rather use first shift than screen, okay. It's fine, I think, I can just use this shape. Clear all, auto smooth.
okay you can use this one this is more simple right no I think we should uh, it we should extrude this border to outside okay no only one extrusion then we will use a symmetry modifier or else the lights going to bleed through this mesh inside on the engine okay we need a closed mesh okay collapse everything this will be our window you can still add a lot more shape in here okay everything's fine no actually we need to change the material for this one I'm gonna use this black Now we need to create a door uh, or this uh, entrance, whatever it is. Okay, for that uh, I can just duplicate this one, right? And if I scale this. Okay, wait, we will create a new one, okay? Or wait, we can just use this. Okay, just delete all this. Then go to the front view. Move this down. And this one okay here we can add a staircase or something so okay it's fine so, um, and we need to create some shapes or here mm -hmm. okay need to check this size first i'm gonna group this mesh okay this will be our doorway so we can enter through here right and a symmetry modifier in x direction and increase the size little bit Okay, then collapse it here we need to weld these all right We should move these three up like 
we can build this Actually, we don't need these two edges, control and backspace, okay. So, we'll have this entrance. Maybe we should increase the height a little bit. So, sorry. I'm going to try to move this up. For a different shape, okay. No new work on the street. No, do you make or render or video games with this design? It's a game environment, bro. The renders actually. Guys, work on the stream. If you're new here, please consider subscribe. We have this arts, right? Should be fine. I think this area is fine. Now we need to create some shape for this border. I'm going to use this plane. Okay, then we'll create. some shapes and we're going to use this fillet option to build it first Okay, then enable this in report, change to radial or rectangle, rectangle is fine, then increase this length and width. This one actually not match, anyway. I'm going to change the material here, then move this here and increase the length to change the radial.
Scanner, I send an email. Can you take a look at load pixel? Okay, sure, bro, sure. PGH, hi, welcome to the stream. Okay, I think we need to create this rectangular shape first. Okay, then we will. Create the radial one. I'm going to duplicate this here. And we'll change to rectangular, sorry, radial. Like this. Okay, I'm going to convert this shape to editable poly. Okay, come to a double poly and we need to delete this side, we don't need them. Okay, just select it and grow the selection. No, don't grow the selection, just delete them. Okay, and select this side. We need to insert and bevel it a little bit. Okay, so we can place this radial shape inside it for the sun. Same, we don't, we don't need the other side, we can just delete them. Okay, I'm going to convert to a triple poly first. Uh, I'm the one who said, produce section, I wrote about, what about him? Not happy if you could get back to it. Okay, bro, sure, sure can. All right, I will check, bro. Okay, I'm going to delete these two faces and we will delete this edge. Okay, then this side. Okay, wait. Okay, we need to delete its beds. Okay, fine. here we need to decrease the height and move this to the back a little bit now we need to create the stairs maybe four Okay, I'm going to the top. Wait, we need to isolate these two. I mean, these three, and go to the top. Then
we will create a box okay instead of the stairs like this and change the material Okay, and convert to editable poly. I want to increase the length and width a little bit. Maybe you should increase the height. Now we'll select these two edges, then chamfer it. Two to the segments, maybe. Maybe one segment. Or we don't need to change for it right you can just use this shape like this okay now i'm gonna duplicate this one and change the size this okay uh, we don't need the side can just delete them and we'll attach these two together delete this side And then select all the edges okay control a what hold on select all these edges then we will change for a little bit Just to look at it. So we will have this entrance. Now well, I'm going to add two segments in here. Make okay, two segments in the center. Okay, wait, I will use the zip flop thing and create it to here. You can straighten this line using this make planner. Wait, we You can assign a different material over here. If you want, okay. And I think that's it. Maybe you should.
create some shapes okay it's fine you can just use so okay here we need to move this thing down a little bit okay i'm gonna select this border and we will extrude it or we can just move it down right this one and this one okay hold on we can't move because this thing is turned on so just click back to none and move this down okay fine okay i think that's it now we can start unwrapping the textures then export all these to the engine okay one more thing i'm gonna isolate these two Then we will select these random edges. And we will extrude it. We can keep it like this, or we can extrude to inside. Okay, it's your choice. So I... Okay, select everything, clear all, and auto smooth. Okay, I think we need um, we need to extrude inside. Okay, let's close this gap. Then chamfer it. Okay, then clear this smoothing loops and add a new one. Same for this shape. Okay, we'll turn this back on and we will select some random edges. Okay, then extrude it to inside like this then chamfer it control a clear all then auto smooth
then we can add two more in here okay i'm gonna use this uh, make planner thing and extrude it sorry extrude it then chamfer it okay clear all auto smooth okay same for this pillar you can either use a texture with this kind of normal map or you can just uh, create in here i mean instead of 3d snacks okay i think we will okay I will create for one pillar here okay to this extra segment maybe four is enough I think and for extrude it then chamfer Okay, we will export one to this and one without this extrusion, okay? And we need to, okay, we need to change the material. Now we will start unwrapping all that UV, then export everything to Unreal Engine. So we will start with this one. Okay, we need to ungroup this one first. okay okay i'm gonna add this modifier i mean this under pvw modifier then move this here and select all this then maybe this kick planner map and like it okay means and this one you can actually unwrap all these together like this okay kick planar map okay or not we can just drop this one separately okay for the rest of the sides i think we don't need that uv okay okay we need this one right keep okay. i'm gonna select this select this one and keep planar map uh, legs now I'm going to connect to this one I mean build okay now fair fair legs this one should be fine okay for this side I think you need to do it separately you can just can build it right I'll try kick 
ponerme Poké Horror. I'm going to double click the sets, then convert the selection to face. And we don't need this. Okay, now we can get the normal listen, then max it. Okay, I think it won't be easy to. We'll do this one. Okay, I'm gonna try. I build all this. Okay, I'm not sure about this. Ah, nice. Okay, it's okay. We can just keep this one separately. It's fine. Okay, maybe we should cover this edge with some another mesh. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna move all these to the sides okay then select it and control i to invert the selection so actually we don't need to unwrap the side okay we'll just use this one let's pack them and collapse it and I'm going to change the material for this one to a black or something okay now this wall we need to change material for this then we will add this modifier after making Danny we are making this cathedral welcome to the stream then ok here the same process just select it and use this kit planner map then relax it and you will select this one relax it and I'm gonna build all these together I mean these edges Sometime we need to move this and it won't work. Okay, we will try one more time. I 
I think this is gonna work. Still, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, it's not working. Anyway, I'm gonna go back and we will just back this soon. I mean, okay, we still need to unwrap the sun, right? Okay, here I'm going to select this edge and convert the selection to face. Uh, Start legs. Maybe you should straighten this, and we need to rotate this. Then we will pack all these together. Okay, this is the shape, right? I will move this down here. Okay. Save it first. Okay. And And here we can enable something like this. So, I mean, display vertex connections, right? We can build it. It's not convert it. Show the text conventions, maybe. Yes, you should use this. Think this is going to work. And if I like the sun tools, legs okay, fine. Okay, finally, now we we'll pack them. So, okay. And we need to disable this or else okay okay for this window I mean this seal bars you can just uh, use flatten mapping or this default UV Okay, just select everything and we'll just scale it down like by using this option. This one. So, see this. Okay, I think we need to flatten the mapping weight. 
save it select everything then we'll use this flatter mapping okay Uh, dining and what type are you making it to 100 inch and max bro ok now we will unwrap these two I am going to delete uh, this face then add this modifier and we'll use this kit planner map then lax it same for the sun Okay, wait, wait. There is some parts missing from this mesh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, because it, this thing, this biangle was turned on, that's why, okay, we deleted the, this shape, okay, now I'm gonna add this modifier one more time, then we will select the sun, then lag, sorry, get planar map, then lag it. and control 8 for this another shape get planner map and like it okay then select everything control a then back Now we will unwrap this shape, sorry, this staircase, okay then add this modifier, select everything, you will just use this uh, matten mapping okay because this is just a basic shape you don't need to unwrap them manually so and we'll unwrap this pillar first I'm gonna select the sun and use this cylindrical projection, C direction, and tool selects. Projection, C direction. 
okay make sure you don't have this extra line scenes you see something like this you can just click this weld select this object okay it will go now we can relax it uh, this and i'm gonna select this option and we'll use quick planner map for this one Okay, I'm gonna delete this face. Okay, now we will use the like projection, see direction, and start. Talking. Here, I'm going to select the search and convert the selection. And if I use this kit planner map. Should be fine, right? S is fine. Same for the sun. Planner map, the flags. Okay, I'm going to keep it. Flags. So this side, we don't need it. Can just delete them. Convert the selection or invert the selection and back it. Okay, and one more thing I'm going to change the material for this one. Okay, so we'll we need to pack them separately. I'm gonna pack this and this one. so the pillar is here okay i'm gonna copy this uv to this pillar i think things gonna work okay wait I will delete this pillar and duplicate, copy this UV, then collapse everything. Now we will add this extra segment for okay, then extrude it. Then chamfer it. And I'm gonna place this UV. I think we lost the UV, right? No, it's still fine. Okay, I'm gonna select this shape and relax it one more time. Okay, it should be fine. No. Okay, and this last turn. We'll add this and wrap VW modifier. And select everything and click this vertex and with the sorry, convert the selection to face and grow it. 
couple of times okay then we'll use this uh, kick blender map and relax it uh, maybe we should rotate it like this Okay, same for the other side. Okay, I'm going to select all these faces, then go to the selection. And if I use this planner map, it will be like this and all these four sides keep planner map Okay, maybe we should include it some kick planner map and Okay, everything should be fine. Okay, then select everything, control A, then back the Okay, this side. Okay, actually, there is this gap over here. Okay, I think it should be fine, right? Okay, you know what? We can just delete the gear. Select all of this. No, we can't delete them, right? Actually, we can. It's okay. I'm gonna collapse everything. Okay. Fine. So I think that's it, right? You can now export everything to Unreal Engine. Okay, we need to create a floor and yes, we need a floor, guys. Okay, we'll use this plane and change the material. And maybe we should 
convert to a table poly and add this modifier just to check okay this actually comes with this uv i don't need to do anything and maybe you should add the segments over the floor Okay. Now we will export everything to Unreal Engine. Okay. Okay, we will change the pivot first. Of all of these missions. Okay, here we need to change some materials and attach these meshes. Uh, I'm gonna change the window. Color, sorry, this one. Then we will attach to this one. Here we need to add a different material. For the stairs, we will add a different and we will attach them Okay, I think that's it, right? Okay, I'm going to export this one first. Export, selected. Nice, hold on. I need to remove some idiots. Okay, desktop, new folder, new folder, fine. And we will Okay, it's more return is some four one. This will be here. This will be world two. Pillar one. Okay, it's for selected and pillar one and 
little too This will be our ceiling or roof. Okay, maybe we need to create one more mesh for the ceiling. Okay, support selected. Okay, I think we need to duplicate this one. Collapse everything. Let's try modifier to X or Y. Okay, for the center, we can just uh, use a plane, right? Okay, we'll use just a plane, okay? It should be fine. Okay, now we'll save this as a copy multiple times then open the engine nothing work on the stream bro Okay, I'm going to open this project. And change to default report. I will create a new level here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use this basic one. Okay, same old process. We are going to create a couple of folders here. And create maps. materials textures and meshes okay then we will import all the meshes Okay, leave everything to default. Dot on. Okay, unmain these. Okay, and save everything. And I'm gonna save this map. Save this current level as. Uh, Cathedral, right? Maps, Cathedral. Okay, here I'm going to uh, drop this wall first. See this side. Okay, that's it here. Okay. 
okay we need to duplicate this for a couple of times hold on alt key and e to snap the toggle Okay, maybe two more. You need to change to low. here I'm going to rotate this wall and duplicate to 90 degree then replace with another wall Actually, we need a, a plane more without all this windows and everything. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna replace this one with our window. Okay, then duplicate this one one more time. And replace this all with our Okay, here here I will duplicate this window and change it to this one. and move it to the top. Transform it away. Okay, oh, we need to add a smoothing group for this song. Okay, fine, we'll just replace this pillar with our second one, okay? Now save everything and we'll select these two. Maybe this one also. Then duplicate to the other side.
Okay, the pillar is actually in the sizes. Oh, really low. Okay, fine. Maybe you should move this little bit to the top. So it will be, won't be a problem. Okay, save everything. No. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this again. Okay, we can change the pillar position later, okay. Now we will just duplicate all this. Thing is fine. Okay, so everything Nitin Weldos. Hi, welcome to the stream. Now I'm going to duplicate all these meshes to the other side. Okay, here I will save everything. Then I will start from this hole to this one and we will unselect this save all and group it here and transform mirror file others Okay, actually, you don't need to. Okay, I'm going to place this pivot here for a second. Oh, your mesh quality is bad. Okay, bro, I'm using this low scalability. Okay. I say you can't see. It a bit of a... It will be fine. Okay, we need to close this side. Right? Uh, we don't need this floor anymore, so I'm gonna delete it and save everything. And I'm gonna place this plane right here and transform to white.
and duplicate okay then we will just copy all this Okay, I don't need this one. Okay, now we need to close the ceiling, right? I'm gonna just duplicate. Feet. Then group it and transform the other way. Okay, for this side, uh, I think we can just replicate this tray. We we need to add something in here for this entrance. Uh, I think okay. Lose something later. Okay. Here um, now we can find some textures. I need to check something change to high and find this direction light Okay, now we will find some textures.
then import it here and it will create some materials Hey Miko, welcome to the stream. Hey Mr. We will find this floor texture first, okay? Should be this tile. I use this one or this one. Hold on, wait. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Okay, actually you can use this one for the wall. Let's change the color to some dark brown or something or just black. Okay, we'll go for the black color. And we'll try Okay, this also looks nice Okay, I can try this one In export to two K, sorry, export as two K and call this the world and change the folder location to here. Okay, then we'll use two K and export. Okay, here you will import them. And make sure you flip this green channel of this normal map. Save everything now. We'll create a material. Open it. Okay. And I'm going to drop this space color and convert to parameter. Then we'll connect it to base color and the roughness. Okay, convert to parameter. And we need to change the value later, so I'm gonna create the scalar and a multiply parameter. Uh, this will be our roughness uh, with the default value one and connect it to roughness. Okay, and this normal map convert to parameter. You can change the intensity of this normal map. Okay, I'm going to use this multiply and another scale of parameter. And I'm going to call this normal. Okay, default value 1. 
and we will connect to this one to normal And apply okay hold on we need to create you right hold on u m and a scale for this uv scale uh, default value one now we can connect this these two with the multiply then multiply to all of our textures then apply okay save everything it will take few seconds to save I think see the folder name T E X C T yeah, nice. So I'm gonna right click this material and create a material instance. And we are going to call this wall. Okay, save again and just toggle this all these check boxes and we'll apply it to our or meshes open it and we need to play in this material slot okay so open this material again and change the scale to two maybe four you can see in this images three I think three is fine okay and one more thing you can change this normal density right we change it to two Okay, and open this base material one more time. Make sure you check this two sided and apply again. Save again. Uh, change to medium and the high. And find this directional light. Uh, I rotate this one. You guys can see this, right? Okay, now what? Okay, now we'll find. So we need to add this material. Okay. Uh, delete this one then rotate then duplicate these two to again to the top Okay. <coughs> okay. 
okay now we need to find this floor texture and they go just okay i'm gonna go back to the mixer and we need to find this floor texture wait maybe stone texture And on a weekend, is it tile tester as we saw the picture? Eight tiles of the sun. I'm gonna use uh, what if I use the sun and change the scaling to zero. Zero or one. Sorry, zero two. Okay, I'm going to export this as floor. Guys, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Okay, and we will import import all of this. and open it make sure you check this box okay here we need to duplicate this whole material and name as floor then change the textures I'm just scaling. Okay, here we need to apply in this viewport because we are using the same plane for here. and I'm going to change the roughness to 0.7 okay and I'm going to change this indirect lighting intensity and this volumetric okay save it and scalability back to high and we'll rotate this directional light Okay, 
You look that good. Now we need to find some pillar texture. Uh, maybe. Yes, that's it. Okay, back to the mixer and to find. Maybe a concrete one. Maybe a tile one. There is concrete. Okay, sorry. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna use this old concrete for okay, not this one. Maybe this painted concrete or this concrete for and change the color to white. Or black. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna try this. Okay, it will be a plain one. Okay, maybe I'm gonna export this as uh, for pillar and import it here. Hold on, I'm gonna open some drop this material. I mean, uh, this okay, this one into this thing. Okay, wait, uh, groups and uh, group this one. Oh, wait. Okay, I think can you use this texture, right? Okay, wait. We'll duplicate this one to build a And the plate and change the skill back to one or two. Okay, I'm gonna open this mesh and we will apply this material. And duplicate this pillar material one more time. Save all. And change it to our imported pillar material. Not this one. Okay, then apply it to the pillar. Okay, 
same for this mesh I'm gonna use the same material okay we need to open this wall and add this wall material okay, this one See this problem for this mesh. Okay, I'm going to open this mesh one more time, then we will change the material. Okay, not this one. This filler material okay that is fine Okay, maybe we should find a different texture for this chair. Group. Mm, look. Nope. Groups and group. And we can add the same material we use for this floor. Okay, here I'm gonna find this exponential for delete it and we will add this post process all in okay and this one and make sure you check this option I mean this infinite extent and we will change the exposure to Point seven or eight. Okay. Save it and let this uh, fold back and change the color to some lighter brown white. And turn this uh, volumetry foreground. Uh, find this directional light. Uh, I'm going to enable this light shaft bloom. Here we can change the texture in the center, okay. 
uh, with some vertex painting okay anyway i'm gonna drop sorry try this okay engine scalability medium Right. and you can see anything Okay, here uh, I think I'm gonna open this. Sorry, post process only one more time. And change this ambient occlusion to one. See, you can see those shadows, right? Check these edges, okay? See. and okay and we need to change this global setting mean saturation and this contrast saturation i'm going to add 1.2 and the contrast also okay contrast b.2 maybe or 1.15 and find this uh, this where is it temperature and change it to a kind of temperature okay then we can make it hot like this or change it to a cool mm. I think this should be fine and find this directional light change this light come up little bit to little bit to orange purple thing blue is fine right Or yellow, okay, no. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. I mean, this blue color and find this exponential four. Change the color also to. or in the okay if I change the intensity sorry density 
to be like this so i'm going to change it back to point one and the height fall of two okay and you can change the start distance Okay, that looks nice. Hi, nice. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like this. Okay, just to cover that entrance. Okay, this it's still not covering the entrance, but anyway. Uh, So only if I change this to high, everything's going to go with the uh, high. See. Or maybe we should turn this back off. Yep, nice. Okay, anyway, I'm going to turn this back on and change it to medium. So we can see it more clearly. There is okay. Let me find this directional light. And if we change the color to orange or something to want to match right okay this should match yep. <coughs> i mean this a uh, little bit red color that's too much so can use this okay this fog one more time it they change not to red no no point nine and this Start distance should be here. Okay, Rahul, thanks for the subscription. Welcome to the stream. And hold on, we need to uh, duplicate these pillars so we can place it like this. Okay, it's actually mm, 
see we can place a pillar in here right so no no cut okay maybe at least here Okay, wait if I add a spoil light. The different color and increase the intensity and this looks more fantasy right fantasy kind of environment lighting okay maybe change okay should change Hold on. Uh, I'm going to change this light and density to two. Zero. So we don't have this sunlight. Or the direction light. And if we change to high. I'm gonna turn this off, okay? I mean, this volumetric flow back off. But we can't see this. There is no, uh, I mean, this dark lighting. Okay. Okay, I'm going to find this post process some more time and change the blue. Okay, it's maybe this exposure. If I change this skylight settings, it will be more skylight. If I change it to 3, okay, I'm going to change it to 2 or 1 or 0. 
Uh, turn this off and change the scale to 3 ok nothing happens so I change it to 1 11 ok 2 and the color to red or something Okay, I think we'll need to turn this back off and the scale age should be white. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna change this directional light. This Okay, we should change it high, then we can see that. Yes, I think we need to Okay, I think medium is better guys. We can keep it like this. And that okay. Maybe you should change this floor material settings. I mean the roughness to point four or something. It's not reflecting actually. Okay, we'll add a sphere reflection capsule. Now you can see these reflections below the floor light. See, you can see right. Point five is. Okay, and I'm going to try one more thing. It is let's rotate this sunlight to the other side.
see now you can see this floor roughness i mean this reflection right so And this pillar material, which we change it to point five. What? You can see the slides affecting this pillar. We change it to one, it won't. It's still affecting. Sorry. We change it to not keep it point fine and this wall it's also point five In this okay, okay, fine. I thought it's not actually touching the ground. You can actually add a different material in the center. Okay, if you use vertex painting or something, you can do that, but anyway. If we change it to cinematic, and one more thing, wait before we put scale below. I'm gonna find some particles, maybe it's in here. So, uh, I hope we can see from here. Wait. What? Steam, right? actually we are using the really high contrast so the color should be a bit of c and c right
Okay, and then I want to delete some. Okay. Actually, we can change this fog color, sorry, smoke color to something else. Okay, uh, open this particle. And we are using a fantasy zoom. Maybe we have this color or life. That's our life, color of life, distribution, color, color points. Maybe somewhere here. I change to this color. I hope this is going to work, I don't know. Okay. It's not changing. Maybe you need to. Change this Color of life, uh, they change it to one. Can see this. Uh, face scale this. Uh, Hold on, I'm going to change the color to this one. Okay. Okay. We should know this here. So guys, uh, that's it for our cathedral. Hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you want to ask something, you can just comment. Okay, and you can suggest a topic for our next tutorial. Yes.
so okay we need to close this some I do not think if we open this mesh and change to complex again play I hope yes So guys, uh, that's it. Everyone, thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for the support. So guys if you want to ask something you can just comment and don't forget to like share and subscribe okay if we change this to high what will be like this so medium is better <coughs> So guys, if you have something, you can just comment, okay? And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Ashmal Chatala, welcome to the stream. Uh, yes, Anakaji, for your ancient. I'm seeing how to scale an object to the real scale. Of Example car. Uh, actually, bro, I don't know about this uh, real scale thing. Maybe you should uh, use. this character for this reference okay i mean this one see you can export it from here I mean, this one yes see you can just right click and set action export then you can make a can sorry make a car according to this character's height and everything mm. so guys i will wait for five minutes more five minutes okay so if you want to ask anything you can just comment and uh, next stream will be on okay this today's Wednesday right so next stream will be on Friday I thought today's Monday okay next stream will be on Friday so I'm gonna sing Steve, welcome to the stream. Hello, I wish you a beautiful day. Same to you, bro.
say as you can see these reflections right So Irene again thanks for joining the stream, thanks for support and we will see you on Friday. Until then guys, bye, take care. Bye guys, take care.